Hello there, Rob here from Rob's Health Crunch in Phnom Penh. Well, in Campbell right now, but in Phnom Penh tomorrow. Anyway, I just want to show you a little bit about my swim sprint training, which is mostly based around sprint training. Because why? Sprint training is the best, the most efficient way and the healthiest way to burn fat and build lean muscle. As you can see, I'm lean, I'm not bulky and big like bodybuilders. That's not what you want to be healthy. So I'll show you how this works, okay? Then I'll talk again when I get to the other end and, and back. So have a, have a watch how this goes. All, the whole length in one go, let's go. So as you can see, it's about a 15 meter pool. No problem for me to go in one breath. And that's what sprint training in the pool is all about. You have super water resistance, nothing can damage your joints, you can't tear your muscles or anything, okay? And you need a, just a little short break in between to go again. Let's go. And there we are. That's two, two sprints, about 15 seconds each. I normally aim to do about between six and 10 to, to raise the heart rate up to close to its maximum. You can see I'm out of breath. That's what you want. You want to get up to 165, 75, 80 maximum heart rate. Why? That's high intensity training, which breaks down the fast twitch muscle, which in turn rebuilds lean instead of um, bulky. And that, that rebuilding process of the fast twitch muscle, folks, that burns fat for 12 to 14 hours. Whereas if you're, if you're burning the slow twitch muscle with strength training in the gym or wherever, even with push-ups and squats, it's the slow twitch muscle. That rebuilds faster. And you're only burning fat during the workout. With the sprint training, be it running, swim sprinting, hill sprinting, step sprinting, whatever, you're burning fat over a long period of time. And that's what makes it so fantastic. And the reason I only do this once or twice a week maximum, because it raises your heart rate so high. And that releases cortisol, our stress hormone, which gives you heart disease. So the fact that I only do it once or twice a week, for the, the total of time of the sprint session is about 12, 14 minutes. That's it. The rest of the week, I keep my heart rate low. Lots and lots of cardio and one or two strength training sessions, which are also kind of low key. That way, that way I'm training heart healthy and don't get heart disease or heart attacks like so many other athletes do, be that bodybuilders, football players, American football players, boxers, etc. The list goes on. There's hundreds who die every year of heart disease and heart attacks and strokes. So that's it. That's the sprint training, um, which I'm going to be offering as part of my program, my health coaching program in Phnom Penh, Siem Reap. Uh, Campbell, wherever you may be. I travel around Cambodia, but my base is, is Phnom Penh. So that's it, folks. Hit me up and let's get you in the water and let's teach you how to sprint. And if you can't crawl, I'll teach you how to crawl. Not a problem. It'll take you one hour and you'll learn how to crawl. And then you're also learning how to swim safely and strongly. And that also builds confidence, strong heart, strong lungs, and makes you feel really, really happy and wonderful. That's it from me, from me today, Rob, robsouthcrunch.com. Bye-bye.